What is up guys and gals? Welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos on the Samsung Note 20. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to turn on the assistive touch, how to turn it on and off. And for those of you that are not quite sure what it is, it's a little shortcut square that pops up that gives you a sh ability for like a shortcut to do different tasks. Uh, and the way to get to it is by going to settings. From settings we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we find accessibility. We'll go ahead and select that. And once we are here, we're going to be going to Interaction and Dexterity. Let's go ahead and select that. And right up here at the top, it says um, Assistant Menu. Um, shows a menu of easy-to-reach buttons that let you replace hard keys, gestures, and other common interactions. Go ahead and select that. And from here, we're able to see that there is a little square, circled square that pops up. Go ahead and tap on that. From here, it gives us different options. There is a notification panel. Uh, so we can go ahead and it'll hit the button and it'll bring that up. Um, the next one that we have is a pinch zoom. So if we select that, we are able to pinch, meaning pull out of any kind of screen. If you're on the home screen, let's say we do the pinch zoom, um, it gives us the widgets to where you can add widgets and everything else. Um, so the next one that we have is a power off menu. It's like you trying to power the device off. It gives you that option to power it off. Um, next, we have a cursor. It's, you can use it pretty much like a keyboard, or not a keyboard, but a mouse on a computer. Uh, the next option we have is screen control. If you have other things on the sides, you can swipe between um, between different screens on your, on your phone. Um, next, we have a menu setting. And that pretty much controls everything um, as far as transparency of your icons, everything that pops up, a um, couple other different options you have there. Um, and everything, as you guys can see, there is two dots, and we are currently on the second of the two. If we swipe over to the first one, whatever we have down here for recents, you can go ahead and select it, and that gives you that option there. Um, next, we have a home button. If we want to go to home, select that. It takes you home. Next, we have a back button. If you're in an app, you want to hit back. It's pretty much the same thing as the one down here. Um, next one we have a screen, oops, next one we have is a screen off, just powers down your screen for you uh, to get it back on. And then next we have volume, if you're not able to get to the keys or you have dexterity uh, problems where you can't hit, physically hit the button, um, this is also a function for that, for turning on your mute vibration sound, turn it up, down, switch between vibrate, mute, you can change your volume sound, everything there. Um, and then screenshot, if you're on an app, you wanna take a screenshot just like that. It takes a screenshot, it's gonna ask you, you know, you wanna save it, and then it saves it, and you're able then to view it in your gallery. So if you have that set up and you no longer want it, it gets getting in your way, it bothers you for whatever reason. Um, for setting, you wanna get rid of it, we're gonna go into settings, just the way we got in, accessibility, and then we're going into interactions and dexterity, and from there, your assistant menu, deselect that and just like that it has now been turned off so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up if you know anybody who is looking for this information please do share it with them if you guys have any comments questions concerns drop them in the comment section below thanks for watching have a nice day